Hi everyone, so today I don't have any makeup on. Um, me and my best friend Charlie are going over to Birmingham to Courthouse Clinics to have one of my next treatments. So I thought it would be quite nice if I took you guys along with me. It's an early morning appointment, so I didn't think that there was much point in me putting a full face of makeup on just for them to take it off. Um, so if we're lucky, and if we're allowed to, I might get Charlie to film my treatments, um, just so you guys can see the processes. Um, I thought that you might find it quite interesting, seeing as you seem to all quite like the last instalment um, of me going to London. Um, so I'm going to the one in Birmingham because it's a little bit closer to home. And yeah, me and Charlie are just gonna vlog the day. So I will see you guys in a bit. So I am at the clinic and first of all Kim, my consultant, will put on some vitamin C cream, um, like a serum based vitamin C and this will help to aid the Omnilux light therapy that I'm about to have uh, which is basically a light therapy that targets underneath the skin to help repair any damage to any cells underneath the skin and also help repair the surface skin area as well. This sort of treatment is absolutely perfect to help with mild scarring on the skin, um, to help with redness on the skin, so if you suffer with blemishes and you have quite a red complexion or a red nose or any redness in the skin, it really does help with reducing um, very highly pigmented areas. And Kim's just um, setting up the machine now. Basically, um, the, the LED lights sit over your face and you lie there for about 20 minutes. It's super relaxing and lovely and it's really bright so you do have to wear um, goggles over your eyes. Um, but you can see, obviously, that the light's covering the entirety of my face. And yeah, just lie there for 20 minutes and it is really lovely and just, it feels quite warm on the skin but there's no pain or any discomfort at all. It just kind of feels like you have the the sun on you really and um, it's it's not damaging on the skin at all it is purely just good for the skin Kim is now using the Priori AHA gentle facial cleanser to wash off the vitamin C serum and basically get my skin ready for my skin peel that I'm about to have. This cleanser is so gorgeous. I use it every single morning, every single evening. It's a really light, fluid, cream-based cleanser and you apply it to dry hands and a dry face and um, maybe slightly damp hands it, it doesn't matter too much but you don't want your hands to be too wet and then you just massage it into the skin and it's really soft really soothing and it completely dries out all my excess oil so um, Kim uses this on on my face every time before I have a treatment but I also have this at home so it is something that you can buy I will link all of the products that Kim uses that are available to purchase on the internet below in the comment bar After cleansing and drying my face, Kim uses a pre-peel solution which is applied onto cotton wool pads and this basically just strips the skin of any excess oils or any dirt that's left behind from um, after cleansing the skin just to make sure that the skin is squeaky clean ready for the peel. So the peel itself is a Priori AHA skin peel and this particular one that I'm having is a 75% peel, now that's the strongest that they do in the Priori peels. You can start at 30%, 50% or go up to 75% and then you move on to the next higher strength peel which is um, the Idi Benone. I am sticking with the Priori skin peels at the moment, that's what's best for my skin and Kim just applies this with a, a brush. It's a clear peel, you can't really see it, it's probably just making my skin a little bit shiny on the camera and it's an active peel so it's actually only left on your face for two to three minutes and what that means is that you apply it and um, leave it on the skin for a few minutes but when you take it off the ingredients have actually penetrated the skin so it continues to work whilst um, after it's been removed from your skin because it's already under the surface so that's why you have to be careful not to leave it on for too long and which is why it also needs to be done in clinic and can't be done at home.
Once the peel's been fully applied with the brush, swap over to some large cotton buds and just massage it into the skin. You do this, it takes about a minute to apply the peel, and then once the peel's been applied, you rub in with the cotton buds for a minute as well. And that basically just ensures that the the um, the peel has been spread evenly over the skin and that it's when you're massaging it in that it's done with a reasonable force, not too hard, just to make sure that it's penetrating the skin to uh, the best of its ability. And then once the peel's been fully rubbed in, it's time to take it off using the cotton pads. So that's the treatment finished guys. So next up Kim's going to put some products on my face just to prep my face for the rest of the day. First up she's going to use a product called the Priori Soothing Complex Advanced AHA and this is a product that you can use um, daily and you can leave on your skin but it is a little bit strong for my skin in terms of it's quite heavy so we're literally just going to put this on to soothe my skin after the peel just to make it a little bit smoother and a little bit more even and then Kim's going to take that off and continue with the rest of the products for my face. Next up she's applying the Priori Perfection Facial Gel again with Advanced AHA and this stuff is amazing guys. I can't tell you how incredible it is. It's The purpose for it is to minimize pores and it just gives the skin such a smooth, beautiful complexion and I use this every single morning on my T-zone. Next is the Priori Barrier Repair Complex Moisturiser Serum and this works to repair any damage to the skin um, and this is my holy grail moisturiser guys, I've just written a huge blog post on it which I will link below but this stuff is amazing. Last up is the Priori Daily Defence SPF 30 with Advanced AHA. This is the perfect SPF. It's lightweight, it is not greasy at all, it sinks into the skin beautifully. I use this every single morning um, as a primer for my makeup and it is just absolutely beautiful. So I thought it might also be quite nice for you to get a shot of the products that Kim used on my face close up. So right from the vitamin C serum through to the actual peel and all of the products that were used at the end to prepare my skin for the day. Um, these are all the products which I will link below and you can have a look at. Now obviously it's not great to put a full face of makeup on after you've had a peel, you want to let your skin breathe, but the Priori mineral based foundations are absolutely lovely and Kim says they're fine for me to put on my skin straight after it peels. Because we are spending the day out and about I didn't want to have a completely naked face so Kim's just going to put a light base of the Priori mineral foundation on my skin for me. This foundation is absolutely beautiful and after a peel it just makes my skin look so glowy and healthy and I absolutely love it. It's like always that funny ringtone. Morning. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mesley. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hooray! <laughs> it's just me and Megan. <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> we are now on our way back home. We've just yes, finished in the clinic. Charlie very kindly Hello. filmed all of the treatment for me. This I is did. Charlie. I haven't introduced you Hello. to her. She is my camera lady. <laughs> that <laughs> might be uh, a very um, generous title. <laughs> we'll see. The quality of the filming, we will see, because Megan was lying with her eyes closed on a bed yeah. for the whole time. So um, we'll see. I hope yes. you found it interesting anyway. Um, to see my treatment. Yes. I'm particularly fond of the light therapy. I think that that's pretty cool. Looked very relaxing. Pretty nifty. Did. Um, so yeah, we're travelling back now. We're in Birmingham at the moment. Do you want we to are. show them where Look we are? Where we are. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ah, it's so interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you could be more interested. Ah. Um, but yes, 
my sat nav keeps talking. If you can hear a weird old man voice, it's so creepy. It's my sat nav. It's the guy, the old man, the pervert from Family Guy. Yeah. So if any of you know him, that's who is talking. Constantly telling us to turn right at the end of the road. Turn, turn right. right. Yeah. It's very strange. Um, so we're on our way home now. We're going to go into town when we get back and do a little bit of shopping. Yes, we are. Um, and then. Yeah, it's a really nice day, so we're going to make the most of it. I might force Megan into a pub garden of some kind. Sounds good. Yes. There'll be no forcing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Woo. we will see you guys in a little while. Bye! Bye. <laughs> it's really warm. <laughs> yep, <it's> still hot. <laughs> so it's a skinny vanilla spice latte, and they spelt my name. Oh my god, they do! It's a iced frappuccino, which I have spoken about in my last vlog. It's now part of my life. Yeah, except now it has coffee in it. <laughs> because <laughs> we went to Starbucks. We did. We asked the Starbucks man, who spelt my name right? Yay. Yay. Um, we asked the Starbucks man whether there was a difference between cream-based and coffee-based frappuccinos. He said, slightly condescendingly, um, yeah, the coffee one has coffee in it. <laughs> So Megan got a coffee one this time. Um, she's had one cup of coffee in her life. In her life. <laughs> and it's just driven me back from Birmingham where I could have died. <laughs> no, no, I didn't drive erratically or anything. No, no. It's it was, just, it I fine. am now a little bit hysterical yeah. because I've never had coffee before and I feel a bit funny. And you know when your body just feels a bit odd, like I feel a bit shaky, Gingery. a little bit funny. Yeah. Um, I drove in the entrance to a car park in the no entry sign. And then um, we were on the wrong side. <laughs> we couldn't work out if we had to pay. Yeah, it's Sunday, we don't have to pay, but I had to have Charlie double check because yeah. I'm drinking coffee and it's bad. It's happening. Yeah, but <laughs> I actually thought it, we left the clinic yeah and i haven't actually told you how my treatment was so oh, yeah it was really good um kim the lady who did my treatment i have hair in my mouth um, uh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um kim who did my treatment um actually was saying how much of, we were saying how much of my skin now like it's still not great i haven't got my usual foundation on today I've got like this coffee berry natural mineral powder on and I actually like my skin for the first time so and I haven't seen you like completely without any makeup on for like, any makeup on at all for a really long time and it's crazy different like yeah so different yeah I you mean you just look kind of nice and freckly now I don't have any actual live spots which is amazing live, live spots <laughs> um I've just got my scarring which has faded loads mm. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. I don't have to wear powder, like my excess oils, like completely gone. Um, and yeah, it's just really good. Yeah. And um, so we're heading into town now to Which do a little bit of shopping. Really pretty from yeah. Here. This is actually it's not a pretty town. No. That is not how you would describe my town, but like it's pretty. I'll show you. Oh look! Oh look how pretty. Yeah, like a little thing. Luckily, it's not a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> There's not loads of <laughs> drunk people. Very well, there might be, but we haven't people. seen them yet. No. Um, so yeah, we're going to head into town now um, and I'm going to put my coffee in the bin, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> he literally was right 
photo bombed by a bumblebee. But it's still recording. <laughs> that was amazing. And the other day, <laughs> photo bombed by bumblebee. That was really fucking scary. It was huge. Oh my God. Okay, so these glasses are from Accessorize. Uh, my earrings are from Barbie Couture from uh, yeah. dollydagger.co.uk. I love they're them. Cool. They are, they're so cute. Um, my necklace makes a little noise. <laughs> and it's from Spain. It's from a boutique in Spain. My dress is from a boutique in Leicester. My scarf is from H&M. Uh, the belt's battered and is also from H&M. My boots are Doc Martens, obviously. <laughs> they need a clean. Um, and my bag's from Accessorize. It's my good luck with an interview bag. Yay! <laughs> What I'm wearing today, my hat is from Arc Clothing. My earrings are from And Other Stories, these and these, the studs and the like triangly things. Yeah. Um, my necklace is from Lola and Grace, just like a little chain necklace. My hat is blowing away in the wind. <laughs> my coat is from Miss Patina, um, just like a little checkered thing. My um, blouse is from Urban Outfitters. My leggings um, are from Zara, my boots are from Jules, and my bag is from Beck Sondergaard, and I've just got my usual jewellery on, which is my uh, Michael Kors watch, uh, my Jana Reinhardt ring, and my Swarovski ring, and my JC Withers Fox bracelet. And that is everything. I also forgot to say that we fell into Topshop on the we way did. home and I bought these glasses which I didn't include in like my, my outfit of the day which I really quite like actually um, so that's good yeah it's always good when you buy something that you like isn't it and also I got some midi rings and they were meant to be six pounds fifty and she only charged me two pounds fifty so winner she's silly and I have midi rings for two pounds fifty so I'm very chuffed about that so we're gonna go home now yes um, and make the most of the sun which is amazing Yay. because we never have sun Yay. and um we'll see you all soon guys thank you for watching and hopefully you'll see charlie again soon who knows <laughs> bye, bye.